140 miles northeast of Dutch Harbor. The Wizard is finishing up their first trip. We're going to try and set just off of there, from there to there. Captain Keith has decided to do a little prospecting on the way back to town. Uh, we're setting a 50 pot string, and this is the first one to go over. Uh, we were the first ones to get up north. Now we're going to try a spot down south, try to be the first ones here, too. Hey, kids, you want good news or bad news? Bad news. Bad news. So we are presently setting our gear on what is known as the slime banks. We're over at a place called the slime bank, so what gives it that name is the jellyfish. There's a lot of jellyfish around here, so we've got the slime banks. So anyway, we're trying to find us a new spot. <laughs> Whenever they when it's actually called the slime bank on the chart and not just something the fishermen call it, you know that, it, that, it, that there's problems there. We have fished the slime banks before. It's no fun when you start hauling gear. There's red jellyfish everywhere, and it stings like a mother. It doesn't affect the fishing because the jellyfish are midwater and on the surface. But what it affects is the guys working at the rail, because as you're hauling your line, all that jellyfish gets caught by the line as you're pulling it up, collects on the line, and then that jellyfish is throwing tentacles, slime, nasty, gooey goop all over the place. Um, and it's jellyfish. Tentacles burn. It, it hurts. I mean, it stinks. The guys will be out there with their faces all puffed up and nasty. And, the good news, there's a lot of crab down there. <laughs> the good news is that we're hoping that there's a lot of crab down there. I know the guys aren't too happy about the slime banks, but you know, if there's crab there, we'll just tolerate it. One hundred miles north of Dutch Harbor. The Cornelia Marie is finally headed out to the crab grounds after spending an extra day in port. Captain Phil is finally getting his appetite back. But downstairs, the table is empty. Yeah, I want to eat some the cooks are on strike. Dave and Jake are supposed to be cooking trading days. Well, we used to rotate, you know. And so at the beginning of this no, season, I cooked, for, I, cooked. I cooked. No, I cooked for a two and a half weeks straight. And, um, oh, a whole two just, weeks. A whole two yeah, weeks is just part of a two weeks. Jake has been a little bit sly. Uh, bit uh, too nonchalant about the whole thing. I'm not going to be the only one cooking for eight or nine people every night of oh, the week. Yeah, so, I just don't know it yet. So I decided to go on a strike for a little bit. Everything's cool. Yeah, Everybody's back to normal. No, no, no. You're, yeah. in, the, you're in the doghouse. You're in the the doing. He's got a choice right now of either getting with the program or getting on another boat. He's all firing. When he threatens to fire me for not cooking, that just means hey, that just means that my food just or my food tastes that good, you know. You do, you're a good cook. Yeah. Well, we're going all out tonight. Tonight we're gonna have a meal. It's gonna be pork chops. That's great. Thanks. Likes this. No, it's not bacon, but it'll do. Shaking big baby. He did what he was supposed to. I don't care if anybody else gets up. There should be one meal a day. 